In this short little video, we're taking a look at the Great Western Railway's lock and block signalling used between Malvern Wells and Ledbury. Originally, there were three sections that used the lock and block system on the Great Western, two of which were on this line, though the intermediate signal box has long since been closed and the section between Malvern Wells and Ledbury becoming one single line section. We go to the Kidderminster Railway Museum to have a look at the system's demonstration using two of the original block instruments. There's a, there's a certain amount of uh, imagination <laughs> needed because um, yeah. I've had to simulate it. Yes. Uh, uh, so, right. um, yeah. if Malvern Wells are operating to try and do the usual bounce signals and so on and so forth, and providing the track surface are clear, yeah. um, then I can go straight to the line clear position, obviously repeats in mine and gives him a line clear at that end. These were um, homemade by the Great Western. Right. And you see some similarities between that and what they used at places like Bristol with the console. Image yes, one, seen that one. These bits. So they, to a degree, it was a codged up arrangement, really. So we've gone to that stage now, um, and we can't go forward or back. Uh, we can't go back. So that's locked. So it's rotary, yeah. yeah, yeah so as soon as it, it comes online, then obviously I've got to then go to that position. Put this up as well. So we now got a train coming from the right hand side from Malvern Wells, choking away in the tunnel. <laughs> and um, the first thing it will do is hit BBT track on there. Um, so that'll be that one there. So I'll put that one. Okay. And then progressively, as it's coming through, it will drop the next track circuit. The one behind it will then eventually pick up. Got uh, yeah. And more particularly, it will hit a treadle. That treadle has now dropped the solenoid in there to say treadle cleared. Ah, right, yeah. That's now released because until that happened, this was locked. So that means I can then go back to the normal position, and of course, eventually that other track circuit will pick back up again. So that's really in, simple. In <laughs> that's really simple. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> I haven't got a real train. And, and when I went up in Ledbury Box, I don't think there was any trains about, so I couldn't see it work. But then, of course, like all these, any lock and block system, um, you've got to have the escape mechanism yes. uh, where you need cooperative releases. And woe well betide you, because of course I had to go in the book. But you can see there's quite high numbers. Um, oh, it's got counters on. It's got counters on, yeah. So, and that, because it's cooperative, and the bloke at the other end is going to have to give a release, his counter will go as well. Right. So the DI, if he comes around, can see what's been going on. Right, yes. And I was puzzled when we got this as to why the numbers were so high. But there was a period, was it in the 80s, Dave? Must have been when the, um, the Padding, Paddington's used to have to, <coughs> at Malvern Wells, shunt from one road to the other. So they effectively had to come into the section system. to go back. <clears throat> and then, of course, it had to be cleared down again. So that's why they had to do a cooperative release to the. Uh, ah. uh, when did. When was the system in use from and to? Date wise, you mean? Yes. Dave, we, kept, we got it in. Let's read back. Uh, where are we now? 25, aren't we? So, it, was when, it COVID? When we came out, you mean? Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was put in. Uh, when well, was it we put in? When was it taken out? Well, it was taken out in 19, was it? I've got the photographs of it in the back of my car. So there's no. a previous version. There was right. a previous version, and there was before that there was the original earlier version. I think where there was a pump handle involved, rather like they did Grand uh, Market Tunnel, was it? The Great Western Lock and Block there, or was it? Because uh, it was also used Seven Tunnel. They had a version of it there, I think. As did well. they? they did the Quaker's Yard. As Quaker's well. Yard. That's what. Yeah. So it's been used a few few times on the Great Western then. So, uh, not many. Oh. No, I mean, this was the only working pair of instruments at the end. They had one spare instrument that they kept in the stores at Newport, um, but it was cannibalised pretty well. Right. I think Newport had taken it from Reading when they cleared Reading Works out, because there's a picture in um, Kevin Robertson's book. 
yeah. of, of, of a sort of smashed up instrument in Reading Works. And I think that's the one they gave to Newport, but one or two spares. You can say there's a fair bit of cabinet making gone into that, isn't there? Yeah, I'm saying. Mm. Um, well, I mean, this business as well, I mean, there's a lot of machining to, to yeah. produce that. But when you go upstairs and you look at the one we've got from Bristol, you'll see that the consoles have the same sort of arrangement. The Great Western, I mean, I'm a Great Western lover, but they have this thing that they like to have a bit of tradition yeah. for the sake of the signal, probably. Um, and so they still kept things that they would immediately recognise in terms of appearance. Mm. Obviously, you going clear on the left because the standard yeah. Western way of doing it. Um, and this rotary thing, which they, they used that where they had uh, permissive passenger lines yeah. as well, yeah. like the ones at Bristol. So that, that was it. I mean, I. Obviously, we've had to cut a lot of corners to yeah. make it work from here. <laughs> Real world travels. We've had to place for the relays. But, yeah. I mean, I use uh, track relays to uh, control the surface. Now, of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't have a go and have a play myself. And I make no shame for mentioning that I'm a Midlands and Northwestern man. So I call attention before giving a train and entering section and giving out a section. Now, Dave was telling us that it was a great Western practice not to call attention all the time, certainly for out of section and for entering sections to prevent confusion between signals on certain sections. And yes, of course, I got a track out of sequence, didn't I? Anyway, that corrected, I finally got it back to normal on the block. So it was really quite simple to work. Anyway, that's the end of our video, but I would certainly recommend you get in touch with the Kidderminster Railway Museum in Worcestershire and get in touch with the volunteers who will happily show you around and tell you some of the history of the exhibits that are there and there are many exhibits wired up for public display that's part of the living museum that they're trying to recreate and don't forget to say hi to Kevin